Two points in an electric field. Two points A and B are located within a region in which there is an electric field. So you can see the field lines here. This is point A, this is point B. Is the voltage difference VB minus VA positive, negative or zero? That's the potential difference between B and A. A negative charge is placed at point A and then moved to point B. Is the change in potential energy UB minus UA positive, negative or zero? Okay, let's start with the first part here. How do I calculate the potential difference between A and B? Going from A to B, the potential difference is VB minus VA. This is minus the integral from A to B, the path integral, electric field, dot product with ds. So what I need to check here is the direction of the electric field and the displacement vector ds going from a to b. I can see that this dot product will be uh, positive because they're almost parallel. So e dot ds is positive if I go directly from A to B, and remember this result of this path integral is independent of the path taken because uh, the electrical force is a conservative force. So since this dot product is positive going from A to B, I, I will see that because of the minus sign here, VB minus VA should be negative. So this is telling me that the potential at A should be greater than potential at B. So the answer to the question is the change in the potential is negative. That is to say A is at a higher potential than B. Okay, and what does that mean? If I place a test charge here, a test charge Q0, that is a positive charge, placed at A, at point A, would move if it is set free, it would move towards B under the influence of this electric field. And that makes sense because this electric field is created by some positive charge distribution here and negative charge distribution here. So you can see that it, the positive charges will be uh, having a repulsive effect on this uh, charge Q0 and it will make it move towards point B. Now, in the second part of the question, uh, we have a negative charge placed at A and then moved to B. The work done by the external force is equal to the change in the potential energy if it's moved at constant speed here we have no kinetic energy change the internal force will be equal to minus q times e the external force that i will apply to have constant velocity motion will be plus q times e the change in the potential energy will be equal to the work done by this force that is q integral a to b e dot ds and i know that e dot ds is positive throughout the travel of this charge so my conclusion is that the change in the potential energy delta u should be positive so that's one way to reach this conclusion i can also make an argument based on the potential difference 
Also note that the change in the potential energy going from point A to point B is my charge, negative charge, minus Q multiplied by the potential difference going from A to B, which is Vb minus Va. And since I know that this potential difference is negative, the charge is negative, the change in the potential energy must be positive. Okay, so let's go through this once more. We have two points A and B in an electric field. We want to know the sign of the potential difference between A and B. And if I place a negative charge at A and move it to point B, what is the change in the potential energy of this charge? Well, uh, the potential difference between A and B, which is Vb minus Va, or potential of B with respect to A, I would call this uh, Vba. This is minus the integral, path integral, A to B, E dot dS. The dot product between electric field and dS going from A to B, because this uh, angle is small, it's going to be positive. Therefore, the potential difference will be negative. A is at a higher potential compared to B. If I place a test charge at Q0, it would move towards B. It's a positive test charge. If I put a negative charge at point A, uh, then move it to point B by using an external force, which is equal to the internal force opposite in direction. This is going to be the change in the potential energy provided that delta K is zero if it is done at constant speed. So that's one way of arguing about this. Then this is going to be the work done by the external force, Q E dot product with dS. E dot dS is positive, so change in potential energy is positive. Or I know the potential difference is negative. If I put place a negative charge, the charge multiplied with the potential difference is equal to the change in the potential energy. So the change in potential energy will be positive. Well, why is it positive? Because there is some positive charge distribution here that is creating this electric field towards a negative charge distribution. When I have a negative charge close to a positive charge distribution, this is a low energy configuration. If I move it towards the uh, negative charge distribution, which, which has a repulsive effect here, this is going to have an increase in the potential energy. 